I've talked about how one neuron communicates to a second neuron, but if you consider the billions of neurons in your brain, obviously the situation is much more complex. Here I'm showing you just a slightly more complex situation because there are two sending neurons and one receiving neuron. And this type of process is referred to as neural integration. Basically our receiving neuron is receiving input from other neurons, more than one, and it has to add those up and decide whether or not it will send a signal along its length to other adjacent neurons. Generally, there's one type of neurotransmitter per cell, but each neurotransmitter can have a different effect on different receptors. If that effect is excitatory, then the result is depolarization, and if it's inhibitory, then the result is hyperpolarization. Now, I've mentioned that you do not need to know those terms, depolarization, polarization, hyperpolarization, but if you understand those terms, then this should make sense to you. Sometimes the result is excitatory for the receiving neuron and other types of input it may receive are inhibitory, and it literally has to add those up, integrate that information, and to be anthropomorphic, decide whether it too will have a signal travel along its length to other adjacent neurons.